secret to building the connection with yourself and others hello beautiful souls i am dr meghna dikshit author of the book you matter and i'm thrilled to welcome you to our channel here we explore the fascinating realms of the mind and brain share the secrets to success help you heal your past and prepare for a brilliant future if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell and to all our returning viewers a very very warm welcome now if you are ready to dive into the incredible world of brain potential type ready in the chat box right now so what is the secret to building the right connection with yourself and others let us first understand what do you mean by connection connection is a basic human need we as human beings cannot live alone we need people around us for some of us living with our families makes us feel connected whereas for some people even when they are living with their families they do not feel that connection which part of you are in are you feeling connected with the people around you or do you feel disconnected even when you are with your loved ones let me know in the comment section so when you are not connected with your family or your friends or whoever is your loved ones you lose it at some point or are deprived of it altogether this makes them feel desperate to find somewhere or someone where they can fit in and feel that connection that connection could be built by a person or that connection could be built by a social media or phone or it could be simple addictions like you know those who are difficult to overcome like smoking alcohol or any sort of drugs the desperation to feel that connection makes these people find a partner in a hurry they fall for the first person they meet who is mostly not compatible such a step taken in a hurry then leads to suffering to make this simpler let me give you an example so let's take an example of x she is a young woman as a child she always felt neglected and unloved by her parents she grew up craving for that connection which she missed with her parents in her home when she was 20 years old she meets this person say why in her college why came from a very different family background there were very few similarities between x and y but because x was desperate to feel the connection with somebody she gets into the relationship with y x did not take a pause to check whether she and y are really compatible whether y is a good fit for her she gets into the relationship because of the initial attraction that she feels for y this relationship over a period of time causes her much grief and hurt if we have such patterns whenever we meet someone or anyone we are in the lookout for filling up our vacuum with the other person when we find those similarities however small they may be we don't wait and check out further whether the person is a good fit or whether that person is fulfilling the purpose that you are here for we instantly decide that we fit excellently with the other person with that small similarity that you found with that other person in the beginning of the relationship this feels really awesome just meeting this person satisfies the needs within us and the initial days go really good in that haze and days but as the days go by the incompatible differences begin to surface which we had not checked for in our haste the sense of belonging that we felt with this person takes a hit we become desperate to feel that connection suddenly we realize that we may not actually belong here with this person it is heartbreaking isn't it have you ever experienced that sort of a heartbreak let me know in that comment section our efforts to fit into the space where we don't belong fail during the beginning of the relationship in order to feel belonged and the connection we have forcefully let go of the core and important parts that makes our authentic selves in order to fit in we are cutting away parts of ourselves slowly we are already realizing that we don't really fit in so we don't really belong as we are This realization hurts us deeply. This causes the self-esteem to dip further, and it's an endless vicious circle. Have you ever experienced it, or has have you seen someone else experience that sort of a vicious circle? Let me know. So, what is the secret of building connection then? If if this is all the pattern that you're living in, how do you break that pattern? So, let's take the first point. 
one cannot build a connection in a relationship if he or she is feeling not good enough let me repeat it again you cannot build a connection with others if you don't feel good enough about yourself so let me give an example about this a woman with this pattern of feeling not good enough has a deep need to have a big life for herself a life of huge success where she is very well taken care of financially as well she doesn't believe that she can do it by herself due to the subconscious pattern of feeling not good enough now this woman meets a man who is emotionally there for her the relationship is good for some time but the man has no need for a big life or big success he's happy with a simple life he's emotionally available at all times but now this woman realizes that if she wants to live a large life all the pressure is on her to create it and this stresses her out and also she loses respect for her husband but having the connection is so important for her that rather than accept that they don't really fit together she starts to alter her truth she tries to convince herself that a simple life is good and right she shouldn't dream so big she tells herself that she is awakened to the fact that money is not spiritual and simplicity in life is everything she tells herself that her need to be the priority is wrong she tells herself that she can make a good life for herself if she is supported but she is living a facade she is living an inauthentic life and this finally erodes the connection between her and her husband causing a lot of drama a lot of torture a lot of trauma grief and hurt to both the parties i'll give you yet another example and this is from a career perspective a man really wants to work in a certain company he ignores his personal talents and desires and fills himself into the mold what the company wants in the job opening that they have he gets hired in for that job however he has to change and deny his values in order to fit into this job profile over a period of time this leads to zero job satisfaction and is also not performing well in his position at the company there are cases of people who get into multiple relationships one after the other and their personality changes with every relationship same goes in the job now if this is a bulb on moment for you type bulb on in the chat box for people in such distorted situations relationships compromise becomes the keyword such people feel compromise is a form of self sacrifice and it is also they feel that sometimes self sacrifice is labeled as love having heard all this do you recognize this tendency in yourself or anyone that you know closely type recognize in the chat box and let me know now the first problem about compromise is that you will violate your own boundaries for the sake of the relationship you will ignore your personal truth you will ignore your own desires now this pattern also hurts other people because essentially we are presenting ourselves to them as compatible with them when we are really not now it's not really their fault if you're putting up a facade to be in that relationship just to fit in as time goes by they realize that the relationship is pretty false they realize that we are very different from what we presented ourselves as and this leads to a feeling of betrayal now why all of this happens we are programmed to believe that love conquers all that if we are aware and loving enough we will be in a good relationship with everyone and everything around us we refuse to accept incompatibility as we fear of losing the connection and belonging so people prefer to modify themselves to fit in they are okay with the minimal amount of belonging that they feel in that dysfunctional relationship it is like a starvation pattern it brings to fore the human tendency to settle for scraps and starve slowly then have nothing at all now if you can recognize this pattern within you understand that connection and belonging are the biggest human needs This state of desperation emerges because of a complete lack that you may have felt earlier in your life. The truth is there is nothing wrong with you. With this realization understand that if you don't fit somewhere it is not actual belonging. 
if you have to modify yourself in order to fit somewhere it is not an actual fit so does this mean that you don't belong anywhere or with anybody this is energetically impossible so the secret to building connection is to be authentic that doesn't even mean that you have to be rigid of who you are you can constantly keep working on yourself and keep changing yourself but that should come from within not because of the need that you want to fit in somewhere so lose all the modifications that you have done to fit in and embrace yourself as you originally are only then you will find your perfect fitting companion true belonging cannot happen without genuine authenticity you can only be as authentic as you know yourself the path of self awareness is the way to figure out your authenticity so type self awareness in the chat box and the most important work ahead of you is to accept yourself the parts of you that you disowned in order to fit in somewhere pull up the courage to be authentic and to admit the truth to yourself i know it is hard it's not an easy path but it is always worth taking that path because at the end of the path you will realize you have walked a long journey of realizing yourself and most importantly becoming authentic with yourself there's a lot of authenticity that feels shameful it takes courage to face the shame the ideas of right and wrong as they are taught to us is what makes us feel the shame in the first place and why we disown it in the first place the truth is that when you are your authentic self you will find your true belonging whether it's your purpose whether it's the job whether it's a business or a companion the courage is worth it isn't it because it will take you to the place where you actually belong if this resonates type courage in the comments and please share your insights with me on this topic would you like to share something that you have experience in true connections and belongingness if you like this video give me a thumbs up and share it with 10 people at least subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you get a notification when i upload the next video which i do regularly if you want more help from me there are two links in the caption register for my live seminar to train your brain to achieve all your goals and find yourself You can purchase my book You Matter through the link and start your personal growth journey with me. Until then see you next time.